Hi sister, whatever you're going through this morning, we are here for you, for your breakthrough in Jesus name. It's day three of the Morning Miracles Challenge, battle for your mornings. We're going into the armor of God and created a morning routine challenge, drawing from the insights that Priscilla Shire shared so generously in her Armor of God Bible study. It's all geared toward your morning time. Today we're in John 10:10, 10, 10, which says, the thief comes only to steal, kill, and destroy. I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. This prompt comes from Ethelene Wilkins. She's one of our leaders here. And she says, there is a quote we love here. Be the kind of woman who when her feet hit the floor, the devil says, oh no, she's up. Do you realize that the simple act of you getting out of bed with the purpose to meet with God has a spiritual impact for the kingdom of God? The enemy is constantly trying to steal from you. He wants to take away anything that God wants to use for good. And that includes your morning time with the Lord. In the Armor of God Bible study, Priscilla Shire explains that Satan will try to cripple you in the area of your greatest talent, skill, or any area of life that has been bringing the most glory to God. When the enemy sees your focused effort applied to your morning time, benefiting the kingdom of God, he will most definitely target it for destruction. The enemy's goal to keep you out of the word of God and far away from experiencing any results of the victory that is already yours in Christ. But it's tricky. In 2 Corinthians 11 verses 14 and 15, the Apostle Paul explains that, the de that evil doesn't always look like evil at first. If the enemy portrayed himself honestly as evil and dark, then most of us would not find him appealing. So he appears as the right choice to draw us in. Here are some clever illusions the enemy uses in the mornings to lead us astray. He uses the appeal of d digital distraction and social media, random things, the snooze button, repeatedly hitting the alarm, and then procrastination, you end up rushing. Be on the lookout for these and be wise. Today's prompt, in what way or ways does a God first morning routine pose a threat to the enemy and his evil purposes? Consider this in your life specifically, how urgency may teach us to be wise. Thanks for joining me despite the noises all around me today. I hope they didn't distract you too much. I'll see you tomorrow for day four of the Morning Miracles Challenge. This is Laura Gabriel signing off. Bye.